Chances are, whether you know it or not, during your journey of keeping African cichlids, you'll come into contact with something known as Malawi bloat. This is where naturally occurring bugs living in your fish's digestive system have the opportunity to rapidly multiply, eventually filling up that digestive system, breaking through the intestinal wall, and filling up surrounding tissue. Now this explosion can be attributed to a few factors, such as unhealthy water conditions, high aggression and lots of chasing in too small an environment, Food that's really high in protein is an excellent food source for these internal flagellates. An unstable environment, such as a fish tank located in direct sunlight, as the temperature goes up, the oxygen levels go down. And power cuts or transporting of fish, i.e. stress fish. And it can be all of these or just one or two of them. Now, a way to identify a fish that is sick is one that doesn't respond to food. That's my ultimate litmus test. If a fish isn't coming out to eat, something's not right, because that's what their normal behavior is. If you see a fish hiding out in the back in the shadows, normally they're breathing heavily with a slight bulge to the eyes. Um, the body position will also be angled slightly forward. This is a really good indicator that that fish has internal flagellates. Long white stringy feces is a good indicator that the fish has got bloat. Basically what it is is the intestinal lining being flushed out to get rid of the bugs. And finally, a bloated fish is a good indicator of Malawi bloat. This is in the final stages and it's really important to remove that fish because it has the opportunity to reinfect other fish. As it discharges that intestinal lining, other fish will pick it up as they do and then reinfect themselves. Right, now that we've been able to remove that fish out of the tank, it goes into a medicated tank where we can treat it with something such as Metro. If it's a, as advanced as this fish, it's unfortunately going to die and it should just be humanely euthanized. Now that you've removed the sick fish, it's time to fix the problem. I always start with a water quality test. Make sure that you don't have a pneumonia spike or really high nitrates. Another good way is always just the sniff test. If you can smell a fish smell or a very strong odor, chances are you've got a lot of uneaten food somewhere or a dead fish. So you want to fix the problem that's causing the fish getting sick. Your next step is then putting in a fire break. So in New Zealand, we unfortunately can't get medicated food over the counter. You have to go through a vet, get something like metron nidazole and a triclosan tablet and make up your own food. If you're in the rest of the world, you can probably just buy commercial food that's got metro in it, and that's what you want to do is feed that for at least five to six days to prevent any further fish getting sick. So you fix the problem by removing the root cause and address the issue of sick fish by treating medicated food for a five to six day period. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to Fish to Water NZ. Creating natural looking aquariums that are easy to maintain.